Hi, my name's Chad Johnstone. I work at AW Fraser and I run the brass extrusion mill. So here we get log from the foundry, comes down to my billet area. We prep it there by machining off the oxide of metal off the outside so it becomes solid brass. Heads up to our extruder. We've got an elevator there that carries the billets up through to the gas induction oven. We heat most of the billets to about 700, 750 degrees and then we extrude it through our 1,000 tonne press. The machine is like a massive Play-Doh set, just forming material into different shapes. Hex rounds, octagons. Squashing it out off the mezzanine floor, down onto the run-out table. Trim the front and back, and puts them over to our cooling racks. And from our cooling racks, it will either go through our ovens for annealing or stress relieving, or off to the draw bench where we draw everything to final size. We actually use tungsten carbide dies to draw all of our product down to the final size, which modifies the structure, making the material stronger and harder, and as well as that, through the final pass, it polishes the material. And then it heads to our straighteners. And then if we head down to our final docking saw, that will cut to the customer's final requirement and then out the door to the machine shop and be machined or sold to customers in New Zealand, Australia, America and even into China. Some of the brass and bronzes that we make are applicated for plumbing, marine, hydraulic, electrical, automotive machinery and architectural finishing. And that's about everything.